Greetings everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're peeling back the layers of an extraordinary tale from the rich tapestry of Hindu mythology. We're diving into the cosmic event known as Samudra Manthan, or the churning of the ocean of milk. This captivating narrative unfolds a celestial quest involving gods and demons, a quest that transcends time and space. So fasten your seatbelts and join me as we delve into the ancient scriptures to explore this fascinating narrative of gods and demons uniting for an extraordinary quest. In the vast cosmos of Hindu mythology, the story of Samudra Manthan finds its place in the revered scriptures, particularly the Puranas. It's a tale that encompasses the entire universe, transcending the physical to delve into the spiritual. The narrative takes us back to a time when gods and demons roamed the celestial planes, each with their own agendas, yet bound by the common quest for immortality. The story unfolds in a setting that is as magnificent as it is mysterious. The cosmic ocean of milk, a vast expanse of divine nectar. Here the gods, or devas, and demons, known as asuras, would engage in a titanic struggle, not for power or territory, but for the elixir of immortality, Amrita. Their collective endeavor, a churning of this celestial ocean, would lead to events that would shape the destiny of the universe itself. This celestial event unfolded at the dawn of creation, involving gods and demons in a cosmic endeavor to obtain the elixir of immortality. The saga begins with the gods, led by Lord Indra, losing their celestial powers to the formidable demons. This loss plunges the divine realm into chaos and despair, shaking the very foundations of their heavenly abode. The gods, who once thrived on the nectar of immortality, now find themselves on the brink of mortal vulnerability. In this dire state, they turn to Lord Vishnu, the preserver of the universe, seeking his divine counsel. Lord Vishnu, in his infinite wisdom, reveals a sliver of hope. He suggests an audacious plan, the churning of the great ocean of milk. This cosmic churning, Lord Vishnu explains, holds the promise of producing the much-coveted Amrita, the nectar of immortality. The prospect of regaining their lost powers and immortality sparks a ray of hope among the gods. Desperate to reclaim their divine strength, they seek the guidance of Lord Vishnu, who proposes a solution, the churning of the ocean to extract the nectar of immortality known as Amrita. To initiate the churning process, the gods and demons decide to use Mount Mandara as the churning rod. A towering peak, Mount Mandara is chosen for its strength and grandeur, a fitting symbol for the monumental task at hand. The mountain, however, needs a sturdy base to withstand the vigorous churning. This presents a new challenge, a test of resourcefulness for the gods and demons. Just when all seems lost, an unexpected ally comes forth, Vasuki, the Serpent King. Known for his immense strength and resilience, Vasuki offers his serpentine body to serve as the churning rope. With the consent of both parties, Vasuki coils himself around the majestic Mount Mandara, ready to facilitate the churning. This remarkable collaboration sets the stage for one of the most significant events in Hindu mythology. However, they soon realize the mountain needs a base. Enter Vasuki, the Serpent King, who agrees to become the churning rope wrapped around Mount Mandara. The gods and demons, traditional adversaries, put aside their differences momentarily for a common goal, the pursuit of Amrita. A momentous occasion where celestial and infernal forces, typically at odds, unite for a common purpose. It's a testament to the power of cooperation and shared goal. The story of Samudra Manthan is not just the pursuit of immortality, it is a narrative of unity, of coming together despite stark differences. It's a tale that shows how the most potent adversaries can become allies when the need arises. It emphasizes the importance of setting aside personal grudges, individual desires and selfish motives for collective gains. It's a lesson that transcends the boundaries of mythology and remains as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. It reminds us that when we unite, we can achieve extraordinary feats. The collaboration underscores the significance of unity even in the face of adversity. With Mount Mandara as the churning rod and Vasuki as the serpent rope, the cosmic churning of the ocean commences. A spectacle like no other, this epic endeavor sees gods and demons pulling on either side of the serpent, setting in motion a churn of a celestial scale. 
the ocean churns, the mountains tremble, and the cosmos reverberates with the energy of this colossal event. As the churning progresses, an unexpected challenge arises. The titanic forces exerted by the gods and demons cause the mountain to waver and eventually begin to sink into the ocean. It's at this critical juncture that Lord Vishnu, the preserver of the universe, intervenes. He takes the form of Kurma, a giant turtle, and positions himself under the sinking mountain. In his Kurma avatar, Lord Vishnu provides the much-needed stability to the churning process, supporting the mountain on his enormous back. However, as the process unfolds, the titanic forces cause the mountain to sink. Lord Vishnu in his Kurma turtle avatar emerges to support the mountain on his back. The churning yields a series of extraordinary treasures, from the celestial cow Kamadhanu to the deadly poison Halahala. As the cosmic churning continues, an array of divine and malevolent treasures emerge from the ocean's depths. The celestial cow, Kamadenu, a symbol of prosperity and abundance, is the first to arise, followed by the divine tree, Kalpavriksha, known to fulfill all desires. Next emerges the enchanting Apsaras, celestial nymphs of unparalleled beauty, and the divine physician, Danvantari, carrying the pot of Amrita. But not all that surfaces is benign. From the churning ocean, a deadly poison known as Halahala also rises, threatening to consume the universe with its lethal fumes. The gods and demons, engrossed in their quest for Amrita, are taken aback by the appearance of this deadly poison. The universe plunges into a state of panic, as neither gods nor demons are willing or capable of dealing with the destructive power of Halahala. In this moment of chaos, Lord Shiva, the destroyer and transformer, steps in. Recognizing the imminent danger the poison poses, he decides to consume it to save the universe. However, instead of swallowing it, he holds it in his throat. The potency of the poison turns his throat blue, earning him the epithet Nilkant, or the blue-throated one. This act of consuming the poison signifies Shiva's role as the protector of the universe. It also underscores the concept of sacrifice and selflessness, as Shiva endangers himself to protect all of creation. Through these emerging treasures, we see a balance of divine and malevolent elements. They represent the dual aspects of life, the good and the bad, the desirable and the undesirable, the divine and the demonic. It's a reminder that in our pursuit of life's nectar, we may often encounter challenges that may seem poisonous, but bear within them the seeds of transformation. Lord Shiva, in his benevolence, consumes the poison, earning him the title Nilkanth. As the churning progresses, the much-anticipated elixir of immortality Amrita emerges from the ocean. The sight of Amrita is a moment of triumph and relief amongst the gods and demons. The golden nectar radiating with divine energy symbolizes eternal life and power. But the joy is short-lived. A sense of trepidation fills the air as both parties, gods and demons, I the Amrita with a fierce desire. Lord Vishnu, foreseeing the chaos and imbalance that could ensue if the demons acquire the Amrita, takes the form of Mohini, the Enchantress. He masterfully distracts the demons with her mesmerizing beauty, while the gods are served the nectar. The gods, rejuvenated with renewed strength and immortality, prepare for the inevitable conflict that lies ahead. The demons, realizing the deception too late, are left fuming with rage and resentment. However, a deceptive plot ensues as the gods manage to secure the Amrita, leaving the demons disgruntled. The tale of Samudra Manthan carries profound lessons, emphasizing the virtues of cooperation, sacrifice, and the pursuit of higher knowledge. The story is a testament to the power of unity, as gods and demons, traditional foes, come together to achieve a common goal. It reminds us that even in the face of adversity, collaboration can lead to extraordinary outcomes. The narrative also highlights the essence of sacrifice, as seen when Lord Shiva consumes the deadly poison Halahala to protect the universe. This selfless act symbolizes the lengths one might go to ensure the greater good. Further, the quest for Amrita embodies the pursuit of higher knowledge and the eternal quest for immortality. It signifies our innate desire to rise above the mundane and reach for the divine. Above all, the story of Samudra Manthan is a reflection of life itself. It underscores the cyclical nature of creation, destruction and rejuvenation. 
resonating with the timeless rhythm of the universe. And there you have it, the epic narrative of Samudra Manthan, a cosmic churning that transcends time and space. This tale of unity, sacrifice and pursuit of higher knowledge, a celestial dance of creation, destruction and rejuvenation, is a testament to the richness of Hindu mythology. We hope you enjoyed this journey through ancient scriptures. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more captivating tales. Stay tuned for more mythological sagas on our channel. Thank you for joining us today.